Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. Do you see believers from the global south or the majority world stepping in to take up the task that perhaps we in large part are overlooking? That's a really important question. And I, I've wrestled with this in a little bit. I, I think that Yes, God is going to do it. He swore on his own name. I was reading Hebrews the other day again. And it says, I swear on my own name. I'm going to accomplish this. And his unchanging purpose is going to go forward. He's going to find workers to rise up. He's always got a remnant. He's always got a way. And, um, and yes, the majority world is stepping up in ways that are unprecedented. And yet, you know, I, I am jealous for the body of Christ in North America, just speaking of that, because I, 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 am, I have an American passport, I'm jealous that they would continue to have a role to play in missions, even if it's just for their own health and maturity. I don't think that the body of Christ can become as strong and mature as it needs to be without involvement in God's larger story. And so maybe people could say, yeah, you know, God's going to do it with or without the West. And I'm sure that he will find a way. He's got people everywhere. And yet, I don't know if this is too strong to say, but it, even if missions can be done without North America, North America needs missions for its own, own sake. And I would say even further, even if the body of Christ in North America was functioning on all six cylinders, I think God would be working to raise up the majority church because they have perspectives and gifts that we need in order to complete the Great Commission. Even if North America was firing on all six cylinders, I think God would be doing that too. But yeah, he's going to find a way. And if North America doesn't want to participate, there's workers that he's raising up from all kinds of places. Absolutely. And thank God he is. I love yeah. how you bring an aspect of, well, I think some, so many times we have a tendency to look um, with a perspective, an ethnocentric perspective, as if, you, you know, you're, you're American, you pull open an American map, where's the center of the map? It's America. Go to China, pull open a Chinese map. Center of the map is China. We have this tendency to look through our lens of culture with an ethnocentric outlook. and. Uh, you know, God's not waiting for America, as Hollywood often depicts, to come and save the day. Now, this is right. a body of Christ, global thing. So uh, I love what you're saying about that. Thank you. I, I really hear voices saying, oh, hey, we we as North Americans just need to send money. Uh, uh, well, the voices are coming from multiple angles. Just send money. And, uh, and, and support national workers. But there's real challenges along that where it could create dependency in the body of Christ and even stunt their growth in majority world co countries where they're not developing in an organic way their capacity to send workers. So I think we need everybody and we need everybody to be growing together in their capacity to send workers. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.